Hmm, what can make my dioramas cooler and my toy photography better? Great! Let's check eBay. Hmm, I remember that old Spider-Man tarantula figure had two crates it came with. Let's see how much they're going for. What? 70, wait, 70, 80 dollars for two crates? 70 dollars for two crates? Forget about it. Yo everybody, this is Rock with the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and on today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little, little tiny baby craft tutorial. I'm gonna be making a little tutorial on uh, just a quick craft of a crate for your toy photography or for your dioramas or for your display, whatever you guys do with your little tiny crates or you can store little tiny cute things inside of it. It is a super simple craft. It doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of craft products. It doesn't take a lot of anything. All you need is a hot glue gun, dollar store craft foam, and what else do we need? Maybe a pen and a blade and that's it. And uh, let's just, you know what? This intro is taking longer than it takes to make the crate. Let's just get into it. All right, to start this project off, you get your dollar store foam board, you peel the paper off both sides of it, and then you have just the foam part. You take your blade and you cut, you, you, you're gonna size up um, how big do you want this crate? You could do all different sizes right now. Uh, again, with this cheap, thin foam, you don't, there's really like, you can make mistakes and you could just make more and you could just use more parts of it. That's why it's great working with the dollar store foam. And uh, you could also like rip the glue off and if you made a mistake there and whatever. So you're going to cut six pieces of equal parts. And then what I do here, you could do it with the blade. I'm showing you right now with the blade or with the pen. You just, uh, you know, go up and down and in like one direction to where you make it look like it's wood. Right? I have a whole video on actually wood texture. If you go back a few videos, you'll see I have a whole tree diorama wood texture thing. So if you need more in depth with that. But right now, you're just gonna glue them all together. And um, the hot glue, it takes four seconds to dry, push them together. Um, I try to put them in similar ways that they're going, if that makes sense. Um, just you follow, again, once you make the planks of wood, you choose whatever crate design you like. There's tons of different crate designs. This basically was just me freestyling it. With, I do that with most of my videos, I just freestyle. The cool stuff with this uh, thinner foam is that you could just go crazy with the pen and you can make all kinds of indents in it. And um, I'm just texturing the wood right now. The more details when you paint it, the more details will show through. It'll look, it'll looks really cool. So I made a hole in the top and it's gonna be an open and close box. Uh, I decided to put like a little nail looking things. If you have little nails, you could actually poke them through uh, and it works in the foam. It'll look really cool, like little metal nails, but I didn't have any on hand. And again, everything is just cheap and easy. So you could always expand on any of my tutorials. All right, last but not least, just get a dollar store paint or the Walmart has them for 50 cents and just I did one coat and that was all I really needed but you could do this is up to you uh, do as many coats as you want add some Mod Podge for some protective layers or uh, you could do black washes on it I have a video on that uh, that stuff is up to you but as of right now this thing is done and you could just do whatever you want to it all right, so this is it, very simple. Um, and now, what you wanna do is up to you. Uh, I, I made it so you could open it. I will eventually paint the inside. This was only one coat. Usually I black wash it, then I do the brown on top of it. But I just wanna show you guys just how simple you could do these things and how easy, and you could take steps away. You could always add things, like um, I have a, a tree dot, uh, tutorial on my page, go back and watch that. If you want to do a different type of wood grains, I go through that because you could use a wire brush. I used a pen. And see, when you use the pen, when you paint on it, now look, that black detail is in there already and it looks like you did it, but it was just the pen because uh, the paint doesn't fully cover the pen uh, when you use it on foam. So this was just pen 
and a little bit of paint, one coat dried, and remember, this is, you know, accessories for the background and stuff, so you don't really need it to be super detailed. And yeah, so that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, there's no excuses. This is so easy. You guys could go do it. Uh, hit it up. Tag me on Instagram. Um, a lot of people like my diorama stuff on here, so that's what keeps me going because I do the diorama stuff in person all the time anyway. And uh, I'm glad I started sharing it with you guys because, you know, people have been watching them and making dioramas on Instagram and, and you know, tagging me and telling me about it. So that's awesome. I love that stuff. That's why we're in the community so we could share our, uh, you know, our ideas and techniques. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay great. Uh, at Rock of the Great, at the Toy Boogie on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, on YouTube. And, yeah, that's it, man. All right, I'm out of here. What's in the box? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna redo that one. Okay, that's good. Okay. Ooh, I just stole something. Ooh! Alright! Okay. In less than five minutes for basically like a two dollars. And uh, here we go. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on. I'm gonna have to plan- I have to plan what I'm gonna say. Alright, hold on. So... Forget about it! Forget about it! Seventy dollars for two crates? That is crazy! <laughs> Get it? Crazy? Okay. That was probably a blooper.